and punishment. Be merciful, say death. Do not say punishment. Eyes. What knocks? Good home, you'll hide thyself. Who's there? Who knocks so hard? Whence come you? What's your will? Let me come in and you shall know my errand. I come from Lady Juliet. Oh. Welcome then. Holy Friar. Oh, tell me, Holy Friar, where's my lady's lord? Where's Romeo? There, on the ground, with his own tears made drunk. There is no world without Verona walls. Even so lies she, blubbering and weeping, weeping and blubbering. Stand up. Stand and you be a man. For Juliet's sake, for her sake, rise and stand. Why should you fall into so deep an O? Yes. Sir, sir, death's the end of all. Speaks thou of Juliet. How is it with her? Doth she not think me an old murderer? Where is she? How doth she? What says my concealed lady to our cancelled love? She says nothing, sir, but weeps and weeps and Tybalt calls and then on Romeo cries. As if that name did murder her. Oh, tell me, friar, tell me. In what vile part of this anatomy doth my name lodge? Tell me that I may sack the hateful mansion! <laughs> Hold my oh, desperate hand! My heaven, leave me! What <laughs> amaze me? Thou a man? Thy form cries out, thou art. Thy tears are womanish. Thy wild acts denote the unreasonable fury of a beast. Hast thou slain Tybalt? Would thou slay thyself and slay thy lady that on thy life lives by doing damnate hate upon thyself? Round thee, man. Thy <laughs> Juliet is alive. There art thou happy. Tybalt would kill thee, but thou slewest Tybalt. There art thou happy. The law that threatened death becomes thy friend and turns it to exile. There art thou happy. The pack of blessings light upon thy back. Send her chamber hence and comfort her. But look thou stay not till the watch be set. For then thou canst not pass to Mantua, where thou shalt live till we find a time to blaze your marriage, reconcile your friends, beg pardon of the prince, and call thee home with twenty hundred thousand times more joy than thou wentest forth in lamentation. 